Okay, last exercise. So, deadlifts are pretty difficult to do unless you've got a fair amount of weight. I think even um, people who aren't necessarily that strong will be able to shift an amount of weight that's just not convenient to have at home. Um, about the heaviest thing you can really get is if you get a rucksack and put some stuff in it, you can probably load that up to like 15, 20 kilos. I wouldn't mind betting that uh, a lot of you could do that without too much effort, okay? So the problem is with the deadlift, if we do it properly, I've just got this weight here, it's about 12 kilos, I think. It is just pretty easy with the, with the original kind of standard deadlift technique. It's pretty easy to just pick up keeping a straight back, looking ahead, and just driving up close to the body, all right? So one way we can make it harder and get the back of the body really working hard um, without so much focus on the front is to use the hamstrings a little bit more and do it with a stiff leg, okay? Now, this doesn't mean I've locked my knees back. There's still a little bit of a bend. It just means that I stick my bum out like that as I go down, and then from there, my leg remains fixed, okay? So I'm not doing that. There's a soft bend, feel like I can move them, but then once I've got that comfortable position, I keep my leg there and hinge at the hip, like that. Okay? Now, if I do it without the weight, I'm gonna show you. Try not, as you go down, to do this with the back. All right? What you wanna do is you wanna imagine you're trying to balance something on your back. So, if ever you've seen the, the footballer, uh, footballers rather doing the trick where they do kick up and then they catch it on the back of their neck like that they're trying to create like a an arch like this in their back and their neck like that we're sort of going for something similar here and then we want those shoulders pulled back so as you go down you don't want to roll forward and arch the back that way you want to create the opposite effect pull those shoulders back and try and get a nice flat surface that you could balance something on should you need to, whilst keeping those legs working that way, but without locking the knees out as well. Okay, so it looks like this. I just fold at the hip as if I'm sucking in there, keeping my shoulders back like that. Okay, now that, without a weight, is still easy, all right? It's just a flexibility thing, really. So you, if you have a weight, you can add weight. That's a way to do a deadlift um, where you, you make it harder for yourself, but if you're lacking in anything to actually use to make this harder, it's just a, a harder variation. Um, obviously, if, if you don't have anything at all, or you've only got things like water bottles, the next thing to do is introduce an element of balance um, and difficulty by making a single leg exercise. All right, so what that looks like is this leg is just free, it's just off, and as I go down, the heel comes back up, all right? So once I get down to that level there, where I feel like I can balance that on my back, my shoulders should be pulled back, maybe if you do this with your arms, or out in front even if you can, into like a Y shape, or straight out ahead. That will all make sure that you're pulling your back, back this way and puffing the chest out, even though you're un uh, over the top of your, your foot. Try and imagine that from the crown of your head uh, down to your heel, is dead straight. So if the head goes forwards, the heel must come back. If the head goes forwards again, the heel must come back like that. All right? So if you can do this on both legs and you can keep your balance and you can avoid turning out, opening at the hip like this, you wanna keep those hips so that the working leg is dead straight, just over the top of your toes, and your working leg is going back. So it's pulling at the hips there but not opening them. That's an ideal. The next level of progression, if you can still do that, um, if you can add some weight, add some weight, so that's just a case of finding something you can pick up and doing something, make sure those shoulders stay back, go like this, there, okay, notice so I don't let them pull me down, I keep them pulled back, so I'm activating uh, my back muscles, okay, if you can do that, you can do reps of it, again, three to five for strength, but just practicing, being able to do the move, we're not trying to knock out the circuit. The last variation, again, this is probably where you just have nothing you can really use and you're finding all that stuff pretty easy without weight, is to involve a movement to the left and to the right. Now this is a lot more balancey, 
not easy to do. Okay, so I'll start with my hands on my hips. Just check that you're not going to hit anything behind you. Should be about right here. Same principles apply. Get yourself down. Feel like your heel through to your crown of your head is all one straight line. And then you're going to try and turn about 45 degrees across your body without moving that leg. And then you're going to go back to the middle and see if you can rotate a similar amount the other way. And the whole time engaging this back leg and then you come forwards. All right? Now, your technique's probably going to be limited by how mobile you are on that one. I felt I've not done that in a while and I felt a bit tight in my hamstring, just like I was dropping my leg down, like it was just sagging behind me. The idea is to really just try and get it like that. Okay, it's really straight and you just move there and then back across without anything sagging behind. That straight line between head and heel is really important. Okay, so that is our uh, stiff legged deadlift, whether it's one leg or two legs. And in terms of um, endurance, when you're doing your, your bring Sally up, uh, just pick a level you can do at about the speed you need for the track. And just whatever level you're working at from those different progressions I just gave you, treat one as your endurance one, that you're trying to do the length of the track, which is three, three and a half minutes, and one which is for your strength, where it's more about just practicing those reps, okay?